Good evening, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am unable to join you in person as I am currently in the United States, but I want to send you my greetings and wishes for a successful media summit. I would also like to share a few thoughts with you on how I see the relationship between the U.S. and Israel from my vantage point as U.S. Ambassador and the role of the media in strengthening the ties between the diaspora and Israel. I want to begin by reflecting on the tragic massacre that took place last month in Pittsburgh. We all grieved with Pittsburgh and mourned for the victims who died at the Tree of Life Synagogue. The incident sparked many different reactions and the media covered this tragic event from many perspectives, though some chose to play up differences and divisions even as they reported on the outpouring of support and solidarity among Jews. I spoke at a memorial service hosted by the ADL soon after the terrible shooting took place. I said at the time that we must unite around this tragedy. It is the response the victims deserve and the only response that will assure the killer's ultimate failure. My message today is the same. To honor the memory of the victims, let us redouble our efforts to love each other, to respect each other, and most importantly, to unite against the true forces of hatred and evil and eradicate them forever. I am proud to say that under President Trump, the U.S.-Israel relationship is the closest it has ever been. The most tangible evidence of this is President Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital on December 6, 2017. That historic decision was, as he said at the time, nothing more or less than a recognition of reality. Today, we are blessed to have a president who embraces the truth, whether with regard to Jerusalem, with regard to the unacceptability of Iran's malign activity, or with regard to the anti-Israel bias at the United Nations. The United States stands with Israel and supports Israel's right to defend itself against attacks of all kinds, whether military attacks from Hamas rockets or verbal attacks in international fora. It's been six months since our embassy opened in Jerusalem. I must tell you that every single day that I get up and go to work at the Jerusalem embassy is a singular experience in which yet another miracle presents itself. It doesn't ever get old. It doesn't ever become routine. It isn't anything I take for granted. A day does not go by where I don't thank God for the privilege of being the first U.S. ambassador to serve his country from this holy city. As journalists, you are the vanguards of the truth. The United States never fears the truth, neither does Israel. Our goal is to get the truth out and through the fog and noise. I am encouraging you to use the platform that you have to build bridges that unite people around common values that we share. I know that we have much more that unites us than divides us. לצערי, אין יכול להיות איתכם הערב במקום היפה הזה בבירת ישראל ירושלים. אני מאחל לכם הצלחה רבה בכינוס ומקווה לראות אתכם כולכם לשנה הבאה בירושלים. You're all doing an amazing and incredibly important job. May God bless you, may God bless Israel, and may God bless the United States of America. Thank you.